Hello everyone, this is size 10 uh, straight shank hook and the thread I'm using is peacock blue and just start below the eye, touch in turn as usual I will explain all the materials keep going just about before the bend stop here and I'm using for the body I'm using this is a natural quill so just a normal feather not the eye, not from the eye because uh, a little darker makes a nice combination actually I'm just trying to get thicker end so once you catch this you use touch and turn In fact, just forgot we have to leave a little blue tag here actually and then catch this. Use touch and turn. Unwind your thread all the way because I'm going to make a nice and smooth body on this puzzle. Come back just about in the middle just to give a nice tapered taper on the body. So That's better. Now I'm going to bring now leave enough gap in the middle because we need to see the blue. And that's enough. very strong there and I'm gonna build up a nice head here okay now I'm going to add the cheeks which is a fiery fire orange goose by it. So if you can take two, put them on either side, thin end, and take your time. Catch them in the middle and then hold both end kind of downward. Just making sure if they are sitting okay. Okay, I need to get a different bobbin because this starts splitting thread now. Okay, for flashback head, I'm using this is a Mirage tinsel. This is a large size actually. If you can find a medium, that would be fine but I'm going to use this large size so 
just make sure you catch this on top and sitting just about on middle that should be okay take your time with this thing come back up level the head and then bring your both cheeks forward gently don't put too much tension on them Scale them properly. Keep the tension and break them off. And I'm going to bring this, and I should give a little stretch, you know, it breaks a very nice color. And then secure it. <clears throat> and then cut this from one end take this off <coughs> just form the nice head And just get some UV resins. As usual, I always start with the head. You need to make a nice glass effect, you know, so make sure you cure it gradually, you know. And I need a nice and thin body so not too much on the body we'll make sure there's enough to make a nice shiny glass smooth effect you know so I've just changed the background uh, darker so you can see the better color of this pattern and I hope you enjoy this one thanks for watching